Hello adventurers! I'm back again and today I have a massive Hot Topic haul. I think this is the first time I've gotten this many boxes ever. At least for Hot Topic. Actually, you know what? This is the most I've gotten in any of the stores that I've ever bought. <laughs> At least online. So I'm just gonna come out and show you guys. Um, can you say overboard, guys? I went really crazy on Hot Topic when I saw there was like so many things that I put in my cart, and <laughs> I did wait for a couple days, and I just couldn't get the stuff out of my mind. Luckily for me. I used my Rakuten, which used to be Ebates, and I was able to get money back. So there was some good to my shopping. <laughs> this is my excuse to myself. There was some good to my shopping. I was able to get money back from shopping at Hot Topic. So we're going to leave off with that <laughs> because I don't want to look at how much I spent. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this little bag here. I guess we'll start from smallest to biggest. That's how it'll be more manageable. I don't, I think this is my second time ever doing a Hot Topic haul. I think I did one years ago. If I can find the video, I will put it somewhere in the eye in the sky. But it's been a while. So the first thing I'm pulling out, the first thing I'm pulling out is I saw this and I was like, oh, memories, memories. I got, I saw this and I just had to get it. Now, if you're a 90s baby like me, you know, you watch this show on Disney. Darkwing Duck, anyone? Let's get dangerous. I just had to have this. I just had to get this. And as soon as I saw this, the theme song for Darkwing Duck started going off in my head. Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. I just couldn't help myself. I had to get this. And unfortunately, I couldn't have tested the size. So it looks like it might be true to form, the size. So I am so excited. I love collecting shirts now i like i have so many new collections that it's like ugh, it's crazy and i did get one more shirt that i kind of just really really liked and i had to get it was this navy blue mini mouse bow in leopard print i just couldn't help myself this is just too cute and it does look kind of black on the video, but it's actually navy blue. And it's just so pretty. You always need a little leopard print in your closet, don't you think? In your clothes. So those are the two shirts I got. And I'm very happy. Hopefully they fit well. So we're going to go on to the second biggest box. We're going to leave the Big Mama for last. I have started an obsession with Funko Pops. And let's just say the last couple weeks, I've been doing a lot of Funko Pop shopping. The first pop I'm going to show you, a 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition exclusive. Hot Topic exclusive, Mushu riding the panda. I mean, do you guys remember that scene? I know I did. I first saw this on Hot Topic and well, of course it's exclusively to Hot Topic. When I saw this on Hot Topic, I was like, I have to get that. But I did the responsible thing and I waited and I was able to get it on sale or at least discounted because it was on sale. So this is considered a pop ride. I don't know why it's considered a pop ride. This is too cute. 
there he is holding up the soldier and he's on his panda and there's Mushu right there trying to work the guy oh this is just so cute I c and he's holding the little letter that he's gonna gift oh he's so cute look at Mushu he is too precious I I can you guys blame me this is so precious. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and it does move as well. So. <laughs> this, this little Funko Pop is what started this whole craziness of me buying all of this Funko Pops. Just so you know. So this is considered a pop ride. And on the back, they have four more Funko Pops you could collect. There's Mulan as a soldier. There is Mushu with the gong. Mushu just standing there looking precious. And Li Shank as well. So if I want to complete this set, which most likely I will want to, I don't like not having a set, I will definitely get these. <laughs> the next pop I got was actually a very underrated movie in my opinion because it it was so great when it came out and a lot of people don't talk about it but it's Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame and she looks so cute as a Funko Pop with her little bangle I don't know what it's called a bangle tambourine tambourine that's what it is it's a tambourine and the way they did this is so cute. There, there are only three figures for this Funko Pop set, which I think is, I mean, come on guys. Come on, Pop, Disney. They only have Esmeralda and then they have Quasimodo and then Quasimodo as the fool during that festival of uh, the opposite festival. And I, th I think it's a little upsetting for me because they have Phoebus, they have, um, what was that goat's name? I can't ever remember what the goat's name is. And, you know, they had the statue, the gargoyles, and then they had Frollo. So they could have done more. Perhaps in the future, they'll do more pops inspired by the Hunchbacks of Notre Dame. You never know, but I think it's a little sad that they only did three. And two of them are Quasimodo. So, but I am glad that they did Hunchback of Notre Dame. I am glad that they did do a Hunchback of Notre Dame theme. Because this is a very underrated movie. And I, I thought the music and the, and the graphics from the movie were really good. And here she is. Our little gypsy Esmeralda with her tambourine. Oh, look at her. She's in her outfit looking cute. Can you not say she is cute? I don't think you can. And she is so gypsified, looking great with her little bangle on her leg. Can you see why I had to get her? I mean, I love the movie, and I'm so happy they have a pop. Definitely worth it. And I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video. Everything that I got from Hot Topic was on sale, and I made money back from Rakuten. By the way, I am not sponsored. I have They don't even know who I am, just so you guys know. But if you guys want to sign up for Rakuten, it's free. And I have a link down below if you want to use it. I mean, you don't have to. I just figured if you want to, if you're if you're a buyer like me, you would definitely want to say get money back from something, right? So that was box one, and now we're gonna go on to the big mama. So that was box one, and now we're gonna go into the big, big this big fellow over here. I cannot wait to see my other Funkos. All right, so we're going on to this big mama right here. 
and I'm gonna leave the biggest pop for last but let's go on to this one. Oh, this is so pretty now this pop right here I got on clearance because it's been a while since this movie came out this is the Princess Jasmine from the Desert Moon song in the live action from I think last year two years ago 2019 I think it was and it's a Hot Topic exclusive so here's a closer look I'm sorry about the glare there we go and can you see why I had to get this this is so beautiful I couldn't help myself I have to say I am a big Jasmine I mean I am a big Aladdin fan and I couldn't help myself especially since I saw that it was exclusive and it was from the live action I have to say I'm gonna be honest here I was not too thrilled when I heard that they were gonna do a live action Aladdin and it's not because Aladdin doesn't deserve a live action it I mean I love Aladdin I would have loved to see a live action Aladdin my only trepidation was the genie who could fill who would want to try to step into Robin Williams shoes when it comes to genie those are huge shoes to fill and I was a little you know uncertain because you know he had just died before I think it was a month a couple months before he had just died and they announced that they were doing a live action so I was a little nervous is the word I'm trying to say and then they announced it was Will Smith who was gonna play Genie and I love Will Smith I think he's a great rapper I think he's a great comedian I mean, he's like the total package when it comes to acting and being a comedian and everything. But I, I, I still like, like in the back of my mind, Robin Williams is genie. He is genie. But I was pleasantly surprised that he didn't go the same direction that Robin Williams did. He made genie his own and i actually enjoyed it now this is my opinion of course but robin williams will always be genie there's nothing no one could ever say about that but i have to say rob will smith did a great job as the live action genie. he made it more hip-hop and i guess more for the generation and i did appreciate that I thought he did a great job that like I said this is my opinion the actors did a great job and I was very happy with the movie so I was very excited to get this one because it is so beautiful the outfit she had on the girl that played Jasmine I can't remember how their name is it's like in my brain but it just doesn't want to come out I'll put it somewhere in the video the desert moon scene oh, outfit was so beautiful it was just like beyond and I just had to get the Funko Pop of her and she looks so cute with her little veil can't believe they were able to do a veil on a Funko Pop and this outfit it killed in the movie and it's definitely killing on the Funko Pop it is so beautiful I love the desert moon scene I just had to get this. Can you see can you see why I had to get this? It's so beautiful. And Aladdin is one of my favorite movies. I grew up watching that. It came out around generally around the time I was growing up. I think it was early 90s, so I was really young, but I remember the second one and the third one coming out. But I did enjoy the movie. And I am hoping like mind you I'm new to the Funko Pop world so I'm kind of behind 
on collecting Funko Pops. So I wasn't able to get the other Funko Pops, but I I was there are a few from the Aladdin Live that I was able to grab my hands on besides the Desert Moon, but there's a couple that I wasn't able to grab. But you guys will find that out in another video. One of the two videos, I think. You'll find out soon. But they had they had Aladdin with Abu. They had the genie who was played by Will Smith. They had Aladdin as Prince Ali. They had Princess Jasmine in her traditional outfit that you would think of her, but more modernized. And then you have Jafar. And I'm a little bummed I wasn't able to grab. I, I can already tell you this. I wasn't able to grab Jafar and I'm a villains collector. So I will, it is on my wish list to get this Funko Pop and I will be on the hunt for it. But I am glad to start my collection with this beautiful Princess Jasmine Desert Moon Funko Pop. And for my second to last Funko Pop, I got something more <laughs> surprising <laughs> because I don't generally talk about this movie. Even though I'm a big fan of it, I love it. I don't generally talk about it when it comes to, I don't even collect, I, I don't generally talk about this movie, but I am a big fan of it. I just don't talk about it as much. And when I saw this character, I was like, I had to get it. Because if I'm starting a Funko Pop Pop, I have to start a collection on this movie. I got a 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive Mr. Prickle Pants. And I just love the way that the actor, I don't know what his name is, portrayed Mr. Prickle Pants as an, a method actor. And it's just so cute. I couldn't help myself. Now, there are other Funko Pops from to from this 2019 Summer Convention. And there's Woody and Buzz, of course. Then they had Ham and you have Ham. And then Rex, Slinky Dog, Bo Peep, and then Mrs. Nesbitt, Wheezy, and Bullseye. And this is just from the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusives. Yeah, and I was able to grab him and he was on sale. So it's check off. So now I have to collect all the rest of them. <laughs> Good luck to me. <laughs> but I was so excited to grab this. But I think Mr. Prickle Pants is so cute. Now I just have to collect the rest of them. I really want to grab Rex and Ham. And Slinky Dog looks so cute. And Mrs. Net, well, I bet I'm just going to collect all of them if I can get my hands on them. I am so excited. So, well, uh, this is like a, a dream come true <laughs> unboxing. But there's one more Funko Pop I have to show you guys. And I'm just so excited. This particular pop has like, I, it's like a chaser for me. Because every time I went on Box Lunch or Hot Topic, it would it was gone by the time I saw it. But let me tell you, I had to get it. Because you'll see why. If you've been with me for any amount of time or seen any of my videos any amount of time. And this pop is King Triton. And he is a Hot Topic exclusive. I couldn't help myself. Oh, uh, and he's pretty big compared to regular size Funko Pops. This is a normal size Funko Pop and King Triton, of course, is much bigger because he is the king of the sea and he has to be bigger and better, don't you think? I am so excited. I love King Triton. And of course, this is the 30th anniversary of 30th anniversary King Triton Funko Pop. So it's even extra special out of the box. But before we do, I want to show you all the Funko Pops that I will be on the hunt for because I love Little Mermaid. She's my second favorite princess. And 
I have to collect these, don't I? So I already have this Ursula and I want to collect the huge Ursula and all of these right here. The only one I have besides King Triton is this Ursula and I need to collect all the rest. <laughs> so I am on a mission and my wallet is just like, I give up. So, and here he is. And here he is, King Triton, looking very upset, but still looking like the wonderful king he is. He is in all his glory with his crown. And of course, he has to have water to keep himself from, you know, going dry. And of course, he has his Triton as he is holding it. And he must, Ariel must have done something to upset him because he looks very stern and very upset, but... Who wouldn't smile when they got King Triton? I know I am. <laughs> I'm so crazy. But I just love it. I'm so glad. Oh. Oh no. There's a little damage to King Triton's eye. Oh no. I'm going to have to call Hot Topic about that. Because I don't want to... King Triton that is damaged. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a part of my YouTube family already. So that way you can see more videos like this one. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye guys.